Hey guys, it's your boy Toxic Trips here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial with a ProBoards forum. If you guys do not know what ProBoards.com is, it or ProBoards forums, it's a free forum maker, except you have to have, like, say I made a website with this after, with this after URL. Um, it would... Like, if I selected Pro Boards, you can select from a few of them. You can select Pro Boards, um, I think it's Free Forum, or, or Free Forums, or Boards.net, and I use Boards.net. So, like, say I did a Pro Boards forum, it's not going to be my whole own URL. I'm going to have to do whatever I name my URL. So, like, it could be, like, for example, YouTube... But then I have to select either boards.net, freeforums.com, or proboards.com at the end of my URL instead of just .com, .net, etc. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to your website, in this case mine being my, uh, my server or gaming community's website, and you're going to want to log in to your admin account. So I already have all my stuff remembered, so I'm just going to click continue here. Oh, wrong password, hold on. And then I'm going to sign in to my account. And as you see, you're going to have all the extra tabs once you sign in. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a custom theme like this. As you can see, this looks different than the normal pro boards. It's like, say, I were to just go on like a random pro boards. I'm trying to think of one. I really don't know one, to be honest. Um, hard. I'll just go on a random pro boards. Let me just go to Google. And then look up boards. Or no. No boards on that. So as you can see, um, let me just find one. This may have it. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, this one has it. No, it doesn't. This is a custom one. Yeah, never mind. So hold on. Let me find one that has it. I don't know where there was one that has it. Uh, and then just I'm just trying to find you guys an example, okay? Ah, uh, this is so hard. Let me just log in to mine and make a new one just to show you what the default theme is when you create a website. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to create a new website. And yeah, so I'm just going to do a random one. So I'm just going to do ports.net. And then say I just wanted to do like. A, B, C, D, E, F, A, S, D, F, movies, you know, something, something totally random, you know, type it in, boom, random entertainment, apparently, I'm a, not a robot, you gotta confirm it with capache, or capach, capacha, I don't know how you guys pronounce it, up to you, yeah, as you can see, when you go onto your forum, it's a default theme, it's always the same for everyone, so as you can see, if you click take me to my forum, it's going to be this theme by default. In my opinion, this is in some ways ugly, some ways fine. Really no difference, but, um, yeah, so, uh, to customize your theme, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on admin, and then you're going to want to click on themes. Now, here's the thing, if you're really good at coding, then you can create your own theme. You really wouldn't be watching this video slash tutorial 
if you were really good at coding. But um, what I like to do is I like to go online and look at pre-made um, themes that people have made. So what you're going to want to do to do that is go over here and click Theme Library. And then it will bring you to this page where it shows all the public themes from most recent. So this one was the most recent theme that has been uploaded to their website. And yeah, as you can see, it has all the public themes. Now the one that I have on, hold on. The one that I have on this website right here, which is my personal favorite theme that has been uploaded onto the public one is the Metro Stripe Blue. So to install these themes, you're gonna to want to click on them and then you're gonna click on in install on forum. Now some themes, not this one, but this one would bring you right to uh uploading your theme. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the ones that don't have this um that don't have the install on forum. I'm gonna teach you the back way for doing those ones. So I'm just gonna do sort by oldest. No oldest. So there's probably some really old themes over here. So you know we got simply golden. So PV advertising, these make some good ones, but all their themes are old. Um but this one doesn't let me just look up PB advertising because or just PB for now. Wow, Eli. Oops. Uh, sort by. I don't know. Feature. Uh, why can't I? Simple? Like, am I able to search this up? Can I just set it to newest? And then PB advertising? Hold on. Okay, yeah. So if I look up PB advertising, we'll see this default one, for example, Seek Blue. I know this one doesn't. It does. Or no, this is the blue one. Hold on. I need to find it because I know there is one that this guy made hold on people this may take me a second I'm sorry I'm taking this long just to show you an example but all right well anyways let's just say this install on forum button wasn't here what you're going to want to do is click on download. As you can see in your bottom left right here, the file for the theme will start downloading. Now what you're going to want to do is go uh, back to your forum. As you can see right here. And then what you're going to want to do is go to theme manager. Now I already have a Metro Stripe Blue, so I'm just going to delete the non-default one, which is this one. You'll see what I mean by default later on. Okay, so um, what you're gonna want to do when you have downloaded your theme, if it was one where it doesn't have the install on forum button, what you're going to do is hit create new slash import theme, and then once you have clicked that, you're gonna want to click on import an existing theme. So once you click on that, you're gonna want to click on choose theme file. And then it should pop up with, you'll see right here, it will say open and you're going to have to select your um, file. Now just look up the name of yours that you're doing. So mine would be sleek. Just search that up in whatever file that your, um, that your theme downloaded onto that downloaded from Chrome. Whatever file or your downloads are set to go into, which is mine, is obviously the downloads section, but you may have a custom one. So, and then you're just going to want to click on Sleek Black version 2 or whatever theme you have and click open.
that is only for the people who only have no um install on forum button when you go to the theme. Otherwise, just click install on forum, guys. It's way easier. So, anyways, either way, you'll get to this page in the end, whether or not you did click on install on forum or download. Um, once you have gone there, you know you can make sure you read this because you're only like if you're if you're gonna go in and like edit everything in here. Like for example, there's a bunch of files you can mess with with the theme and customize it more. Um, if you end up doing that. Read the dis the default description, which is um written by the theme's original author, because sometimes it tells you you're only allowed to edit certain things if you're using their theme under their copyright. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, as you guys can see, once you have you know changed all this stuff, all that, um, what you're gonna want to do is da da da. Uh, you're going to want to go back right here to theme settings. Just click on theme settings right up here. Or no, no, no. Theme manager. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right. So once you're going to want, uh, once you do that, this is just an example on how to set the theme. So you'll see you won't, you, if you're like starting a brand new forum or if you're coming here afterwards, you may or may not only have the default theme. Once you have installed the theme online, if you remember the name, it should be right here. But the first thing you're going to want to do is, it once you um, enable it and download it onto your forum, it should it should automatically come up with a check mark. You're going to want to keep that there. Uncheck any other themes, and if you're unable to, what you're going to want to do, like as you can see, you cannot disable the default theme. That's you, the only error you're going to get if you try to uncheck a, another one, if this other one is checked. So what you're going to want to do is go to the new theme that you downloaded, and click on make default right to the right as you're hovering over it the button will come up uh, once it says default you're able to uncheck all other themes so uncheck all the themes except the one you just installed which is sleep back to as you can see right here and then now if I go back to my original website as you can see the theme would have changed and this is what our forum would look like right now as you can see, it just changed the whole look of the whole website. And uh, as you can see, I am still on the same website up here, but with a different theme. Now, if you ever want to change it back, go back to admin, click on themes, go to themes, click on theme manager, and then change it back. Or you can do the same steps as we did in this episode. And install another theme if you wish to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to help me become a larger channel, please share the video on any of your social medias if possible. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure slash video. And you guys are the best subscribers ever. Have a good day. Peace out. I love you all. Bye.